as a fan of the first season, season two, you guys really amped it up a notch, especially with these, these guest stars. I mean, first we had Robin, and this season we got Barney. I mean, what was it like to have another OG member of How I Met Your Mother on the set? I mean, I was really nervous to work with NPA. Really? He's just such a stud. Like, he's <laughs> legendary. Dude. The fact that he said yes made us really excited, and I think obviously our goal is to hopefully collect them all. Yeah, along yeah, the way. that would be the dream. I but mean, I I feel like it's a testament to how people, and especially people who worked on the original show, love this like franchise. It's, it's like what I think is so brilliant about our show that it does really organically is it creates a completely new world for people who never saw the original. Yeah, like a new dynamic. We're not trying to replicate the dynamic of the original, mm -hmm. and yet there are still all these Easter eggs sprinkled throughout. Mm -hmm. But I feel like also you guys have recreated that dynamic too. I mean, this cast, like the chemistry is so unreal. Like, do you still pinch yourself? We're lucky, man. Yeah, and this is to do with the casting with each other, how we are as people, everything. It's like we all vibe so well. Right. It's true to be able to come and work with people that you genuinely think of as yeah. friends is yeah. like, it's an easy way to show up at work in the totally. morning. Totally. The writers are also like creating very fun things for us to yeah. do. So yeah. we kind of like looking forward to that, reading our episodes each week and being like, oh my God, you have this crazy thing. <laughs> The episode with Megan Trainer yes. and the shrimps and the home birth. I mean that. Oh my God! Did they have to do the home birth and the shrimp? And did oh you have to fall God. into the pool too? Yeah, yeah. Like yes. it's it's hilarious oh my though. God. It's the, so good. The shrimp water. I'll never forget the smell. <laughs> You're like I'm never gonna eat shrimp again. No, no. no. The... gave me. They were real shrimp. It was oh. real. Yes. Oh, oh my God. It was fake oh. and it was real. Oh my. Yes, and it was fishy <laughs> shrimp water. Not fishy right. shrimp water. Yeah. <laughs> They love loved to pair me with shrimp. I don't know why. <laughs> so uh, let's let's just manifest a third season already. Sure. Who else on the list of the OG cast members would you love to come and play with you guys? I think Jason Siegel, just because in my head, he's like 17 feet tall, and I, I just want oh. that to be proven true <laughs> when I meet him. I think for me it would be Josh, just yeah. because I feel like the, the similarity to like the character, not the characters, but just like. If you have to light us all up, like yeah. that, that that makes like the most sense. For sure. Storytelling wise. So. I see it. Uh, you know, obviously every great sitcom has a great love story or love saga, I should say. And of course there are two characters. It's that whole will they or won't they, you know? So when will they is what I want to know. Is it <laughs> coming? We can't tell you that. Man, yeah, you, don't want, you, you, you don't want to know. You don't want to know until you see it for safety. You're not bringing that. You're right. It would totally just get used to against me. <laughs> I do think the writers, Isaac and Elizabeth, the creators of the show, do a really brilliant job of like teasing things out, letting them get close, let it's them get torturous. further apart. Yeah, it is, yeah. it is. It's it goes wonderful. like this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's great. And so quickly too. I'm yeah. like, oh wait, I was just I mean, You're just get, starting to like feel good about it, yeah. Love Adventures without me this season. Yeah, that's true. I do definitely go on. I get a lot of them. I was you have say. some insane ones, buddy. Yeah, not like, for nothing, but John ones. Corbett. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, come yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> what are we laughing at? We're just razzing our friend because she's dating an old guy. <laughs> yeah. I believe that's me. Oh, what? I know everyone's yes, been talking about this, exactly. but you guys going from, you know, teacher and student on one project to now you know love what? and trace. Acting jobs, you never know where they're going to take you. <laughs> That's true. Right? And like, you embrace it, right? I, we, we did. Yeah, we did. You had to, right? Yes, we yeah. did. Now, were you a huge Sex in the City fan? <laughs> yes, of course. So what was your reaction? No, he's always Aiden. Even right? When, yeah, yeah, even when he was my teacher. So the fact that we have now learned that Aiden will be showing up in the second season of the reboot, what was your reaction? Did you try to get any tea from John? Um, John is... Did I get any tea? He's just like, he thinks everything's great and mm -hmm. everyone's great. And yep. he like, you know, he's just a really easy going. Yeah, he of... was like the mellowest person yeah, you've ever never met on set. He never broke a sweat. The guy was just cool as a cucumber yeah. start yeah. to finish. Uh, Sridge, there has been some fan theories that you are Ooh. actually the father. Have you seen those? I've seen them. Yeah. I love them. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, your <laughs> thoughts? But all I'm going to say is, Isaac and Elizabeth, man, you never know what's going to happen. Boom, 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 come close, go far. No. Speaking of not knowing what's going to happen, that cliffhanger, can we talk about that? Like, how will a long distance marriage work for your character? Oof. Oh. You have to see, man. Long distance is hard. Right? <laughs> have you done long distance before? No, long you distance. have. Okay, so you're bringing some truth to this oh, storyline. Always, always bring the truth. I love but, it. Yeah, it, it's tough. Yeah. yeah. But it's like real too, right? We need those like we need that story arc too to play out on a show like this. I, I was I was just thinking that, you know, our last episode of the season is like I mean, it was my favorite of the season by far, but it was like it had a lot of heavy like 
like serious moments and it's just so nice to have that with our comedy. There's so many relatable things like how hard a long distance relationship yeah. truly is or growing pains, mm. making like decisions you don't want to make or like like our show does have a lot of that and it's it's really nice because play it out, there yeah. is a lot of goofy, there is a lot of silly, like we're prat falling and yeah. like getting things dumped on us and yes. like it is very funny. And I think one of the things that's nice about doing 20 this season is it, it gave the writers a lot of runway to mm. find opportunities for some sort of dramatic higher stakes moments without sacrificing like a boatload of comedy. Absolutely. And crazy scenarios for that sure. we all find ourselves in. It gets me excited for a third season because there's still so much more that you could do and oh. like places to go. Yeah, I feel like we're just getting started. I yeah. agree, I season agree. Season two is foundations. Yeah. I love oh that. man, but it's so good. Season two is so, so much fun. more. I mean, season one was awesome, but season That's two is like so, so much better yeah. and crazier yeah. and funnier and more just like off the walls. Yeah.